there have been 851 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. Our mission? For every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. We're headed back to 1986 now for The Trial of a Time Lord, Part 1. Now we've covered quite a few episodes of Trial already, but we finally come to the first one. And you know what, the series was back after 18 months off the air, which at the time was unprecedented. It had been in the news that the series was going to be cancelled, but then it was saved by massive public outcry and the show was on trial, so they put a trial in the show, which may have been inadvisable, frankly. That's nice enough in itself, that the show is back, that it has that wonderful model shot of the Time Lord space station. There's Glitz, there's Dibber, there's the Inquisitor, there's the Valyard. There's so much good in this episode. I am choosing just a very, very small thing, and it's quite personal to me. And I think, though, a lot of people out there will like this as well. And that is the Doctor and Perry getting along. Colin and Nicola are both such good actors. And I've seen them and met them both at conventions. They are such giving and kind people. That having them just not like each other for a lot of the previous season... It's a bit of a drag whenever I go back and watch it, you know, because I know how good these two are and I know how good they can be together and you, you just want that all the time. So to have them wandering around the forest and, you know, kind of quipping at each other and still have that little bit of um, sarcasm and sarkiness between each other, but it's delivery is what has changed here, and that is down to Colin and Nicola. Apparently when the scripts came in, there was still a bit of snidiness between them, and a bit of that old tension, and both of the actors, and the script editor, and the producer all decided, no, 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 we're not doing that now. There's that scene in the railway station where the Doctor comforts Perry, and there's still a distance between them at the end of the scene. You know, Perry hasn't just taken what the Doctor said at face value and is still reacting to this scene emotionally. And even though the Doctor chastises her for that, I, I think Perry kind of wins that conversation by saying, don't tell me not to get emotional. Even though this is after my time, I still care about what happens to this place. And I like that it doesn't devolve into a shouting match. It's a mature conversation between two adults who obviously like each other, but also like teasing each other a bit. Just the whole newly defined relationship between the Doctor and Perry is something really nice about The Trial of a Time Lord, Part 1. Stay safe, remember to wash your hands, and thank you so much for watching.